my intention is to for the messages to get to whoever needs to hear them and they'll get there um so i feel i feel like that's it is that it let me get this romanian thing away i, I was gonna forget i'm like I don't, i'm gonna tell them something in romanian but then how do i translate it because I, I forget uh anyways let's begin earth signs capricorn Okay, so on your side, the Ace of Cups, the Moon, and the Two of Swords. All right, so there's a little bit of confusion here on your side when it comes to love in particular. Um, I feel like you're, you're wanting love in your life. Now, I don't know what the situation is that you're very much confused. Like you either don't know who you want it from or why it's not here in the way that you want it or who knows. There's a lot of... Um, um, things that could play out in this, but there's a whole lot of, you have a secret desire here that surrounds love. And your confusion is on the surface, which is telling me that either um, you're not wanting to align with that desire, you may not want it right now, you may not have time for it, and because of that, you're kind of rejecting it, and at the same time asking yourself, why is it not here? You know, there could be that at play here on your side. Maybe it's in regards to somebody in particular and, you know, they're not showing up in the way that you want them to. Uh, for them, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Well, somebody has their energy here pointed towards you, but they're in the same kind of boat. Like, should I take this step? Should I not? Should I? They're not as confused, um, but it's still that kind of questioning for them, you know? Um, they feel good just thinking about taking that step. But I don't see them necessarily going all in, basically. You know, they're more <clears throat> they're more clear minded when it comes to this um, than you are. I still don't really see them going all in quite yet. For the connection, four of cups, nine of pentacles, six of cups. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of disappointment, a lot of um when disappointment shows up like that, it kind of comes in as expectations not being met. You know, like, yeah, well, it's not happening in the way I want to. And, okay, but I don't know how beneficial that is for you to have those expectations or for them or for whoever has them. Because there's a lot of disappointment. Um, this is definitely a soul connection here. But I see singlehood. I see detachment here. On both parts like nothing's really happening here let's um see what the universe has the eight of pentacles the star the ace of pentacles yeah so what you're wishing for is a brand new beginning something beautiful something practical something you can roll with and it's not here possibly that's why you're under this confusion kind of like it's not happening in the way i want to and I get that, but again, um, does it help you with anything? Having those expectations and, you know, grabbing onto that control aspect of things instead of just taking things as they come. Because if it does, okay, by all means, you know. Uh, but if it doesn't, I would suggest trying to let go of expectations here. But that's it. Um... Um... 